We have one 2022 NBA power rankings. So number one, you have the Phoenix Suns. Definitely have been the best offensively and still one of the top teams. Number two, the Memphis Grizzlies. Honestly, I'd put the Bucks at number two. And then they have a very good chance of going to the championship again and probably being the best team in the NBA right now. Number three, the Milwaukee Bucks. Number four, the Boston Celtics. Honestly, I think that's a good position to put them at. They definitely have improved over the season and they got their confidence back. Number five, the Dallas Mavericks. Luke has really been carrying this whole season and been playing good at an all-star type level and really proving a lot. Number six, the Miami Heat. They have a good win over the Celtics, so I would at least put them ahead of the Celtics. I'd probably honestly put them at four. They're definitely one of the top teams and probably one of the favorites to win the East. Number seven, the Philadelphia 76ers. Definitely underrated right now. A lot of people with the whole James Harden thing think he's not good enough on all this other stuff. I think... Definitely during the playoffs are going to be a very good team. Number eight, the Toronto Raptors. Honestly, Scotty Barnes has been doing a lot. And same with Pascal Siakam. Both have been playing great. They've definitely been on tear lately. And then number nine, the Denver Nuggets. Honestly, Jokic has been playing at MVP level throughout the season. Definitely a good season from him. Number 10, the Charlotte Hornets. Honestly, I feel like they're missing a piece or two to become very viable contenders. What do you think about this, though? Who's your QB wide receiver duo? So you have Derek Carr, Devontae Adams, Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup, and Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs. Honestly, if I had to choose any of these, I'd probably say Derek Carr, Devontae Adams. You have the best receiver in football and a very good quarterback. And in my opinion, I feel like they would definitely work well together. They already played together at Frenzo State. And honestly, I think they're going to have a good matchup together. But honestly, what would you pick? I feel like most people are pretty much going to say Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase or Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup. I could see some people saying Josh Allen, Stefan Diggs, but I feel like that's going to be most people. What do you think about this, though? Comment down below. Receivers in the latest NFL mock draft. This is CBS Sports HQ. So Garrett Wilson, number 10. I, they obviously lost Tyreek Hill. That was a definitely a big loss. But getting Garrett Wilson will definitely be a good pick for them. And then Juju Smith-Schuster. They definitely improved, but they won't be the same team without Tyreek Hill, I feel. Drake London, you have for the Washington football team. Definitely a good pick for them, and it's going to make them a lot better. Number 11, definitely a good pick. Jamison Williams, number 19. Definitely underrated wide receiver in this draft. And if he wasn't for the injury, he probably would have been higher on this list. But what do you think? Traylon Burks, number 20, the Steelers. Honestly, you could kind of see them taking a quarterback around there. But this is honestly a great pick for them. They need another wide receiver after Juju left, and this is a great pick. And I think Chase Claypool is going to step up this year. Number 22, you have Chris Olave. Honestly, going to be a great pick for the Packers. Very fast player, and it's going to be a good pick. Devon, they lost Devontae Adams, but this is honestly going to be a great pick for them. A young, good rookie wide receiver. What do you think about this, though? 